Joseph loved God since he was a young boy, but his brothers resented him because he was his dad's favorite. One day they grabbed him, threw him into a pit, and eventually sold him to some traveling slavers who sold him to a man in Egypt. You might think this is as bad as things could get, but even as a slave in Egypt, he was falsely accused and was sent to jail. The amazing thing about Joseph was that he always trusted God. Every time he did the right thing, it didn't seem to matter. Things just got worse and worse, almost like he was being punished for doing the right thing. But Joseph was right. God eventually got him out of prison and made him second in command over all of Egypt. He even put him in a position many years later to provide food for his entire family when there was a famine. Eventually, Joseph was reunited with his brothers, and God allowed them to ask forgiveness, and their relationship was restored. Late in life, Joseph looked back on the many, many years of suffering, the loneliness he had endured, the betrayal and hurt, and saw how God had worked through all that ugliness to do something good and beautiful. Even though he had forgiven his brothers, they never seemed to forgive themselves. When their father died, they were certain Joseph would take vengeance on them for selling him into slavery as a teenager. But notice how Joseph responded to them. Don't be afraid of me. Am I God that I can punish you? You intended to harm me, but God intended it all for good. He brought me to this position so I could save the lives of many people. No, don't be afraid. I will continue to take care of you and your children. Joseph realized that God used the pain of a difficult family life, the betrayals and jealousies of his brothers, the injustices of the world around him, and through it all made him the kind of leader who would be compassionate to those who are suffering. The world was about to face a severe famine, and people would be starving to death if God didn't do something. He used the hard life of Joseph to raise up a leader in Egypt who would prepare for the coming famine. And as a result, not only was Joseph key to saving his own family, but he saved the lives of people across the whole area who would have died otherwise. God works for good even in the darkest areas of our lives if we trust in him. Are there troubled areas in your life you would like to see God restore and heal? Would you like to know that the pain and suffering of your life serves a good purpose? Trust your life to God as Joseph did, and see him do the same in your life. If you would like to read the story of Joseph, it's in the Bible in the book of Genesis, chapters 37 through 50.